Hi, this is Brian Pash from PCG Consulting, and this video is to show automotive marketing professionals how to create segments to identify VDP and SRP activity on their website. So first of all, in order to understand why this is important is because Google Analytics just shows traffic. Here's an example of three months of, of traffic, and of course you could set uh, dates back as far as you want to take a look at your website traffic. The point is that traffic in itself doesn't help dealers know if the people who are coming to their website are shoppers and shoppers look at new and used inventory. In order for you to set up a segment, you need to understand how your website is configured. For example, a dealer.com website, which I have shown here, will have a different pattern to display new and used cars than say a dealer on or an auto fusion website. In order to know what your patterns are, let's take a look at the website. If I look at the new car search results page, and we call this an SRP, you'll notice that the SRP starts with slash new dash inventory slash. And if I look at the used car SRPs, well, similar pattern but slash used dash inventory slash. These patterns are important to identify the pages that we want to track. Now if I click on a new car you'll notice on a dealer.com platform that all VDPs or vehicle detail pages start with new slash uh, slash new slash and all used car VDPs start with slash used slash. The same pattern goes for certified. Once you identify your patterns for your particular website, then you can go back into Google Analytics and set up a segment. I'm going to show you how to set up a segment for an SRPs and VDPs. So let's start. I'm going to click on the Add Segment button, and then I'm going to click on New Segment. I'm going to give it a name, and in this case, BP for Brian Pash, Dealer, dot com all SRPs okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the conditions tab I'm gonna click on this add content and pull down the list of choices I'm gonna type in PAGE for page and then I'm gonna click on the contains button and I'm gonna change that to starts with what we found out from dealer.com websites that all SRPs for new cars start with new dash inventory and you need the slash. I'm going to click on the or button because I also want to do the used SRPs slash used dash inventory slash or let's do the certified. Now your website may not have uh, a special um, segment for certified cars. Now, if you type in something wrong, make a typo, it won't show you a list. This list from Google shows you the pages that match. Of course, if you've typed in the pattern right, you should have matching pages. So there it is. Those are the three different ways to create uh, a filter to identify all your SRP pages. Now, this is the simplest, straightforward way. You could use something called regular expressions, but uh, I don't want to get into something too complicated. Then you hit the Save button. Now, if you wanted to create a segment for VDPs, you do that, add a segment, new segment. I'm going to call this BP, uh, dealer.com, all VDPs. And remember, uh, similar thing, you click on conditions, and then you go and type in page, and then you go with starts with, and the VDPs were slash new slash, or slash use slash or slash certified slash. And that's it. And then I'm going to save that. What I've now done is created segments to show me my patterns of traffic. And I can add back all traffic by just clicking this plus button over here on the right. And I'll go down to all sessions, apply that. And now for the first time, automotive professionals can see a unique trend. Take a look at this. In January, this dealer started to see an increase in traffic, but the SRP and VDP traffic were flat and even maybe a little down, meaning as traffic increased, 
it wasn't increased with shopper traffic, meaning this dealer should be looking at the traffic that came in and understanding why that bump in traffic didn't correspond to a bump in SRPs and VDPs. By setting up segments, you can analyze your AdWords traffic, your social media traffic, any traffic source to see if it contains shopping behavior. You can get rid of a segment by just clicking on remove, like I've done there, and I'll do it one more time. Once you've created segments, next time you go into analytics, they're saved. So you could just go add a segment and then go down to, like I did here, dealer.com, all SRPs, dealer.com, all VDPs, hit apply, and there you go, you have your segments. So anytime you go into Google Analytics, anytime you go into acquisition, you could take a look at your different traffic channels like AdWords and, well, take a look and see what percentage of your AdWords clicks, your direct clicks. So take a look. Of your paid search, you had 36,000 clicks. 21,000 of those looked at a SRP. 13,000 of those looked at a VDP. Of your organic search, you had 23,000 people come in. And this is how many people looked at SRPs and VDPs. Marketing professionals who want to check the quality of traffic that's coming to your website and whether or not that traffic can be improved with higher quality, now have these filters to take a look at all of their marketing channels to see who's driving the highest quality traffic, meaning the highest number of shoppers. I hope this exercise was helpful for you to uh, better master Google Analytics for automotive marketing professionals. Uh, if you enjoyed this training, consider coming out to the Digital Marketing Strategies Conference we have it each year in Napa. This year, it's April 12th to the 14th. This is a top um, digital marketing event for automotive professionals, folks from Twitter, Facebook, and Google, plus the largest automotive marketing companies and media companies will be in attendance. It's limited to 100 US dealers. There's also about 20 international dealers that will be there. And of course, the top speakers and technology companies. It's a very limited access event. You can click on the agenda. We recommend that people come out early and participate in the weekend activities before the conference kicks off on Sunday night. So get going, get your segments set up in Google Analytics to track your VDPs and SRPs. Again, this is Brian Patch from PCG Consulting. Have a great day.